So let's have now the second degree sequence we're known as quadratic. Now the reference general formula here is a n squared plus b n plus c from the quadratic standard form where a sub n is equal to the actual element in the sequence n is the n term of a sub n and then a b c are all real numbers. Here are the steps in finding the general term of a secondary sequence or known as quadratic. First is to find the value of a by dividing the secondary value by 2. Second, using the value of a in step 1, substitute it now to the general form to come up with your initial equation. Third, come up with two equations using the first and second terms in the given. However, it's not restricted to first and second terms only. You may use the third, the fourth, as long as the n corresponds with the order of the given term. Fourth, solve b and c using the systems of your equation, specifically class the way we solve it by elimination. Fifth, substitute the values of a, b, and c to the general term for you to get now the final answer. And of course, check your answer. Let's have our first example in finding the general term of a second degree sequence or quadratic. Find the general term of 5, 11, 19, 29, 41, 55. So, the given is 5, 11, 19, 29, 41, 55. Let's find first interval from 5 to 11, it is 6, from 11 to 19, it's 8, 19 to 29, it is 10, uh, 29 to 41, it is 12, and then 41 to 55, it is 14. So, as you can see, this is not a linear or first degree sequence. Uh, let's proceed to the second layer and see if there is a constant number. 6 to 8, it is 2. Then 8 to 10, it is 2. Then 10 to 12 is 2. Then 12 to 14, it is 2. So it is indeed a second degree sequence because the second layer numbers are equal and constant. Therefore, the general form here or the reference equation would be the second or the quadratic, which is a n squared plus b n plus c. So we're going to identify here the values of a, b, and c accordingly. So first step is to make use of the second degree number, which is again second layer value. Well, according to first step, you have to divide the second layer value by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. And that makes it our A. Second step. In second step again, you're going to come up with your initial equation by using the value of A in the first step. Uh, by substituting the value of A to the general form of quadratic. Given that a n, a sub n is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c, substitute now the value of a which is 1 here. So this will be 1 times n squared plus b n plus c, which makes this as your initial equation. Okay, this is your initial equation for your third step. That you're going to come up with um, two equations by using either, I mean not either, but you're going to make use of first and second terms. Although again, you may use other two terms as long as the n corresponds with the order in the given. Okay, now in my case, I will use the first term 
which is 5, to come up with the first equation. So, if I'm going to make use the a sub n, I the 5 as your a sub n, your n becomes 1 because 5 is the first term in the sequence. So, from here, from initial equation, which is n squared plus b n plus c, this will be n squared plus bn plus c equals 5. n squared plus bn plus c equals 5. Okay? The first term. Now, since n is 1, you're going to replace now all the n's with 1. So this will be 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c equals 5 which will be 1 squared is 1 plus b times 1 is b plus c is equal to 5. And this will be b plus c equals 5. Transpose this to the other side. The positive 1 becomes um, negative 1, which will be b plus c is equal to 4, which makes this your equation 1. Okay? Now, let's come up with our equation 2 by using this time the second term. Earlier, we have used um, the 5 as your for you to get the first equation. Uh, this time, I'm going to use 11. But then again, you are free to choose any as long as the n corresponds with the actual order in the Given. So if I'm going to make use of 11 as your a sub n, therefore my n should be 2 because 11 is the second term. So having this initial equation, n squared plus bn plus c equals 11. This time it's, um, it is equal to 11. So replace now all the n's with 2. So this will be 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c equals 11, which will be 2 squared is 4. This will be 2b plus c equals 11 minus 4. Okay, turn on post to the class. This will be 2b plus c equals 7. So this is now your equation 2. Now, after getting equation 2, in step 4, you're going to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Because again, the concept here is solving the systems of linear equation specifically by elimination. Okay? So, again, subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So this will be 2b plus c is equal to 7 and then b plus c equals 4. This is your equation 2. This is your equation 1. Okay, solve this again by elimination. Uh, we subtract. Then we can cancel now c because c minus c is 0 or yun nga, eliminated. Then 2b minus b is b, then 7 minus 4 is 3. So you already have value of, now that you have b, now that you have a, you can now find the, um, the value of c using the initial equation. Okay. However, there is um, an easy way for you to get the value of c without using this initial equation. What you're going to do here to find C is to either choose equation 1 or equation 2 and use the value of B. Okay? Of course, you are free to choose any of these um, two. But in my case, since equation 1 is a simple equation, so I'm going to use equation 1. So that will be B plus C is equal to 4. That's your equation 1. So, 
make use now um, the value of B and transpose it here. I mean not transpose but substitute. So this will be 3 plus C is equal to 4. Transpose this to the other side. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So you have now the value of C which is 1. You have no A, you have no B, you have no C. You now come up with your general term by replacing all the values of A, B, and C here in the general form. So this will be A sub n is equal to A n squared plus B n plus C. General form. Replace now. This will be 1 times n squared plus B. B is 3. So 3 times n plus C is 1. So the final answer is n squared plus 3n plus 1. This is now your general term. Of course, you have to check again. Okay, You have to verify if this one is correct. So let's try at least two terms. Let's check if this is really correct. Okay. So to check, um, this will be the given, I mean the answer is n squared plus 3n plus 1. And let's try to find the value of, I mean, our first term. Replace um, the n with 1, 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 1. 1 squared is 1 plus 3 plus 1. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5. And 5 is the actual first term in the given. Let's try another. Let's find fourth term. Okay, fourth term is, again, this one is the answer. So replace n with 4 squared plus 3 times 4 because we're looking for the fourth term plus 1. 4 squared is 16 plus 12 plus 1. 16 plus 12 is 28 plus 1 is 28. Nine. And 29 is the actual fourth term in the given. So therefore, this one is correct. So the final answer is n squared plus 3n plus 1. So let's have a second example. Find the general term of negative 1, 5, 15, 29, 47, 69. So do the same process, find the intervals, first and second, or let's verify first if this is really a second layer or second degree sequence. The given is negative 1, 5, 15, 29, 47, and 69. So. Let's get the interval from negative 1 to 5, 6, from 5 to 10, no, from 5 to 15, it's 10, 15 to 29 is 14, 29 to 47, it is 18, then 47 to 69, it is 22. So, as you can see, not uh, first degree or linear sequence. We proceed to the second layer from 6 to 10, it is 4. From 10 to 14, it is 4. 14 to 18, it is 4. Then 18 to 22 is 4. So this implies that this one is the given is second degree sequence or quadratic because the second layer numbers are equal. So with this, let's start now. The general term again is a sub n is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. Let's start with the first step. First step is to divide the second layer value with 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, which makes your, again, 
A. Second step, come up with your initial equation by replacing the A in the general term. So this is um, A sub n is equal to A n squared plus B n plus C. So replace now the A with 2. So 2n squared plus bn plus c. So this is now your initial equation. In third step, come up with your equation 1 or and equation 2 by using the first and second term. So a sub n here is negative 1. Since negative 1 is the first term, n must be 1. So using this, it will be 2n squared plus bn plus c equals negative 1 as your a sub n. And then replace now the n, okay, all n's with 1. So 2 times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c is equal to negative 1. 1 squared is... 1 times 2 is 2. b times 1 is b plus c is equal to negative 1. This time I'm going to transpose this, the result of this, to the other side. This becomes negative 2. So equation 1 now will be b plus c is equal to negative 3. That's your equation 1. Okay, let's come up with our equation 2 by using the second term this time. a sub n is equal to 5, and then n becomes 2. Okay, so this will be 2n squared, the initial equation, plus bn plus c is equal to 5. Then replace all the n's with 2, 2 times 2 squared, plus b times 2, plus c is equal to 5. And then, this will be 2 squared is 4. And then, um, times 2, it is 8. So this will be, to, uh, transpose the result again of this to the other side. This becomes 5 minus 8. Copy. Then the result of this is positive 8. Transpose will be negative 8. b times 2. 2b plus c, and that becomes your NO. 2b plus c is equal to negative 3. This becomes your equation 2. Correction, equation 2. So after getting equation 2 and equation 1, you will subtract this again from equation 2 as your step 4. Subtract again equation 1 from equation 2. So equation 2 is 2b plus c is equal to negative 3. And then b plus c is equal to negative 3. Equation 2, this is equation 1. So subtract this by, again, the process is solving systems of linear equation by elimination. You're going to eliminate C for you to get the value of the other variable, which is B. So 2B minus B is B, and negative 3 minus negative 3 is 0. So you have now value of B, which is 0. So again, uh, for you to come up with C, there's no need for you to use the initial equation and use A, B, and C, A, and B, um, and then just uh, use other variable or other term, um, the easiest way is either choose equation 1 or equation 2 to solve for C by using the value of B. So in step 5, again, you're going to choose. The way you're free to choose any of these two. So um, choose the simple one. Okay. So I'm going to use equation 1. B plus C is equal to negative 3. B is 0, so this will be 0 plus C is equal to negative 3, and C becomes your, I mean C equals negative 3. You have no A, you have no B, 
and you have C, so we can now come up with our general term. The general term a n a sub n is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. Replace um, a is two um, times n squared plus b is zero times n plus c is negative. So solve. So 2n squared, this will be 0, then negative 3 will be minus 3. So this is now your general term. 2n squared minus. So let's check if this one is correct. Um, let's get second term and see if the answer is 5. 2 times. Um, no, no, no. Let's write first the answer. 2n squared minus 3. a sub 2 is 2 times 2 squared minus 3. What is 2 squared? 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 3, it is 5. And that is correct. X. Let's get the um, fifth term. 2 times 5 squared minus 3. 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50 minus 3 is 47. And 47 is the fifth term. So this one is correct.